Hello and welcome to my coding session about developing my bucket manager a useful Java fix application for manager XML files which are consist of satellite channels information. So basically I took some time off the camera and now I can show you my results. So let me just quickly iterate what I have done. I created as a main form fxml and this form consists of uh, actually it consists two menu bars menu 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 bars each of the menu bars consists um, menus and the menus consist the items so pretty awesome and you see this percentage this is an internationalization which is available in the Sana Builder tool. So basically I just need to click on the menu, click on properties and here I pick make it internationalize and then percent will be shown and now I just need to type the text which will represent a variable name. Okay next internationalization. So uh, I'm not done with the internationalization. I did prepare my property files and I, I load uh, a default file menu point properties which you can see here. It, it, can, it, it loads per default this file currently because later I will uh, decide what to load but it will depend from the actual user choice which has which was done by the by the user so user decides what GUI uh, what type of language he prefer to see mm. and this should be on the fly this change should be done on the fly well and most overwhelming part for me for today was to be able let me just quickly run my application now you see my application so basically we'll work out all of the logic so the logic is not yet done so for example I can mark or mark here all of the languages so basically I need to work it out I need to, to to be able to to control so only one only one um, box should be marked as check it this is the next things which I have to do after that um, after that I need to be able this box should be predefined always as marked so basically this will give a sign that I am working with XML files which I got from the debox to receiver and yeah pretty sophisticated application and all of all this part basically future my few my personal future request and yeah um, what I want to show you is actually not so far interesting so I have my menu here it is per default in English language and what I need to do I need to be able to verify and it took a, a while until the point where I got uh, the way how I can actually pick up my names of my menus and I don't want to spend much time to explaining of it I just want to show you some test case uh, my view oh, what what is wrong um, did I f okay forgot to funny <clears throat> um, J unit application 
I think it is Eclipse Buck. Let me just pause. Okay, so it was basically a bug in Eclipse, but <laughs> yeah. So the same code. Let me just quickly delete stuff which I don't need. And okay. And what it does some project component mapping. I don't know what my clips doing. Yeah, basically, yeah. Did it was some mistake from the developer tool, but it, it can happen. It's not always, and hopefully, it won't happen again. But sometimes it happens. So. Let's repeat what I have said earlier. Um, my view, my view, uh, show only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Progress. Blah, blah, blah. So my tool only show the first layer, the view layer. I did not connect it any. Of, of layers which I have in my project because I need to be able to make sure that all of my checkboxes can be situated in the proper states and I don't get in differentiated uh, I mean in different uh, state of my view so let me just uh, It's pretty strange why it takes so much time, but anyway, I can spoke about the challenge. The challenge was um, to be able to read the names of the menu which I put on my anchor pane in my JavaFX view layer on the JavaFX formula. So basically I have my stage, on the stage I have my scene, on the scene I have my... So you see, this is what I'm talking about. And my uh, last test was to do following. Get the names of the menu, not the sub-menu, but the menu. And verify that, uh, that the that names are... Uh, valid so I expect to see I actually expect it to see file edit view length set receiver and this is what and this is what I get file edit view length set receiver and let me just quickly go over my test case the first test is uh, pretty simple can I create my main view object uh, let me just run it during unit and you see and here is the output of my uh, ex uh, name extraction basically actually I don't need to output it anymore let me just uncomment this code and the second test uh, the title the title is the application title which I put when I create main window. Yeah. Pretty obvious. And the second test, it is all about. So, this was one of the ch big challenge. So, here I am getting the names of my menu, and each, each menu have own name. And then I compare with the expected result. And if it is all OK, then it is green. Let me just execute it. And you see it works pretty well. So now, iterate over menus. So how it works actually? Uh, how I get all of the names? So basically, I call my method from the start method. Start method is 
actually only one entrance point from where I, from where I can get all needed information about my menu. So about my whole JavaFX application userful, I mean from the JavaFX formula. Here I am calling this method iterate over menu. I am passing through the stage and after that iterate over menu let's just I am extracting you see from the I getting the scene and from the scene I'm getting the root and then I get the root uh, children's and I get the anchor pane this is actually the, uh, the pane where I'm storing all of my menus and then I'm getting the children of the anchor pane and then I getting access to the menu bar and I need to extract the menu names in the menu bars because I have two in my anchor pane and after doing that here's actually the extraction so I'm basically extracting setting my list of menus extracting adding the last result to my uh, list and after doing that I execute actually this test is executed the order of the test in JUnit is random so basically you can run this test whenever whenever I want cool now uh, let me just quickly show you that I can run all of my tests from my POM let me just delete only one not needed or order refresh XML or outer and this I don't need it anymore and let me just execute maven test and it runs 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 all tests passing but it was kind of easy easy stuff the challenging stuff was getting all of the names of the menus but I know how I, now I understand the the path from the stage to to the appropriate menu items and and uh, this is basically very very short coding session it's, it's some sort of my way to show you that you can get the results given enough time but what will be the next um, the next move will be let me just go to my source main resources no views and here I have my fxml now I didn't uh, written any controllers but the next thing will be to be able let me just click preview to be able to actually verify that in any case I have only one checkbox activated here and here I have the case where when I initialize my application this uh, checkbox is set up and if this checkbox is not set up I think I think the best way to describe what I want to say because I have only one satellite receiver I need to make I need to make sure that this checkbox is always activated this checkbox should be always activated uh, the user shouldn't be allowed to deactivate this box maybe I should uh, check it if I can do this in throughout my scene builder but I'm not sure that is possible to do that 
so I need to be pick up a selected and disable but what means disable let me just look it up mm. yeah it's a problem with the Firefox let me quickly run another Firefox instance So disable means I don't need it. I don't need this future. Basically, um, selected and what I need to do that is read only maybe I cannot change it let me just quickly underline should I have it as underline can I deselect it yeah, at, uh, I think in my case it should be in indeterminate. Low, what it means indeterminate? Mm, I not actually understand what it means. Determines whether the checkbox is in their, in their terminated state nah I mean I need some sort of assurance uh, I think it can be handled only over no property like always with Java a fix you need to make sure that some things are uh, set up properly mm, I'm thinking about um, so I'm but wait a second when I do all of this low indeterminate let me just now okay so this is not what I need but rather uh, selected is always underline the need checkbox so basically I think basically you cannot you cannot uh, make it here permanent permanent this is what which I am looking for visible focus traversable scalable scale inherit cursor inherited effect let me just quickly quickly check okay so I figure it out it was disabled <laughs> um, funny 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 thing yeah so so basically it means you as user cannot change it and that was I'm looking did looking for and yeah here you go so it is basically checked and this is how it should stay uh, when I get more satellite receivers I will change the behavior of my UI but I do not expect to write write for another satellite devices because I hope satellite device uh, manufacturer create better UI so you don't need a UI 
in future to manage your XML information or managing channels will be easier in the future I hope sincerely I sincerely hope to to, to, to be able to see that but yeah this is how this is actually how it goes and yeah now the next thing will be as I said earlier to to make sure that all of the check boxes check boxes can be picked but only one box can be activated so if I got other box deactivated if I check other box another box gets deactivated and sorry as a result of this my language should be uh, language property file should be loaded loaded automatically to my UI so I think this is probably the next challenge but after I done with this and I have write and and I'm trying to write my test first and after doing this I can actually work out all of the all other stuff which will be like putting table in my application and putting buttons to operate in my application then I need to put search field in my application to be able to search in my view list and and so on and so on there are, low, um, there are already many things which I need to do in my stuff but thanks again for watching my project result is ongoing and I'm try will try to do it oh more and more but basically this is how it goes it is like I said earlier it is determined by the test driven development and by my skills and the knowledge and yeah I think this will be enough uh, rather short but I prefer to keep prefer to keep my recording sessions uh, shorter I will try to do in the future make them short one hour max at max but anyhow thank you for your time bye bye till next time